it will be the DNS dict and I'll just go ahead and open it Cal Linux again information gathering DNS analysis and we have DNS dict 6 if you don't have you can straight away go ahead to its own website and download if you are using it for the Windows version I doubt whether it will be there because okay we have it on GIT hub okay so you can clone in desktop and download the zip file to make it run on your uh, computer if you want so we have all the packages in just in case these are for yeah I believe these are for the MacBook Pros fine okay so now let's go ahead and check so information gathering us DNS dict a DNS dict 6 is an information gathering tool which is used for gathering information from a website DNS dict it's a DNS dictionary uh, 6 can scan a website and it can also show you how many subdomain or domain are available and it can also go ahead and scan the IPv6 and the IPv4 addresses which are quite useful this tool is quite a powerful tool I can say because it also extracts the subdomains which are restricted or invisible for users so let's say if you're working in any ABCD company and you are a user who is working over there even you will not be able to uh, view those subdomains but the hacker who is using this tool will be able to see and it's quite creepy so overall this is a nice tool for information gathering through website so you can just go ahead and open it in this way and you can check options over here these tags which you can apply and gather much more information I'll be using some of the, them and I'll be showing you how this works let's go ahead and search for google.com DNS dict 6 .com. what this will do is that it will extract the subdomains of Google with their IPv4 and IPv6 information so later on if you want to go ahead and restrict it to only to IPv4 or IPv6 we can also do that so let's go ahead and check all the information so these are the IPv6 I believe okay we have loads and these are all the uh, real ones just in case you might be wondering these are not any any of this is not a fake uh, Google it's uh, these are all the original subdomains of google.com how many of them are in total let's check okay we have 1419 words okay great and side by side I'll also go ahead and open another one okay we have it so we have a total of 58 domain names and 25 unique IPv6 addresses for Google so we only have the IPv6 as of now we have not received any IPv4 in order for us to do that let's go ahead and first check the IPv6 for Microsoft.com and let's see if we are able to get anything from there okay the IPv6 for Microsoft is quite different from the ones that we had in Google most probably because it has uh, Microsoft Windows Server that's the reason I believe okay so we have only five domain names and uh, Microsoft is quite small than Google now let's go ahead and restrict it only to uh, let's say IPv4 addresses so minus D is used to uh, display the information on name servers and MX records and I also use minus 4 which is used to go ahead and uh, uh, gather information I'll just show it over to you it's also for IPv4 addresses so both will be displayed that is IPv6 as well as IPv4 so I'll just go ahead and run this okay so as you can see we have the IPv4 addresses over here as well we also received the IP addresses of the admin as well which is quite dangerous but since it's Google I don't think that anyone will try to go ahead and mess with it we have much more IPv4 addresses than we had IPv6 previously let's say previously I believe we had a total of 58 IPv6 addresses okay perfect so we received a total of 76 domain names and 60 unique IPv4 addresses which is quite useful so the most important one out of these would be the admin ones which I found out previously 
so which are quite uh, dangerous if it falls into the wrong hands okay so we have the IP addresses for admins it's probably one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven IP addresses I believe and twelve the twelfth one is the IPv6 perfect so these are the ways as to how you can go ahead and find out information about the IP addresses of uh, people who are working inside a domain or a subdomain and that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll be starting with the, the two different and one of and one of the few of the most important tools that would be DNS map and DNS recon so that's it for this tutorial guys